Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Age of Sigmar Gloomspike Gits Dank Hold Trogoth. I believe he's in this big box. It's a, it's a it's a tall box because there's a, quite a few things that I've uh, recently picked up, and um, I've been mean to get him for a while. I understand that the Trogoth slash Trog Boss kit comes in the um, Gloom Spike Kit's Battle Force that was released uh, just before Christmas. But to complete my troll collection, my Trogoth collection, I wanted to add uh, this version uh, to the to the force. So without further ado, let's unbox. Now <laughs> there he is, right there on the top. So. Uh, that's what we'll be unboxing today. So there he is. Uh, what other goodies do we have in here? Oh, we have some Star Wars Armada. A couple of Imperial Assault Carriers. Uh, we'll do separate unboxings for those. We've got some more Grots. Um, so now I've got 40 Grots, which is quite nice. Oh, we've got Lockhurst Destroyer. Why not? And then we've got uh, the Endless Spells, which I was on the fence about getting them, but uh, a few people suggested I pick them up. It wouldn't be right if I uh, covered the whole of the Gloomspike Gits uh, range without picking uh, these up. Um, and plus, there's an exploding mushroom and a cauldron with legs and an angry looking moon and a base full of spiders. I mean, I couldn't think of anything else that you'd add to this to make it complete. Then we've got the Quasar or the Imperial Light um, Carrier. Uh, I've been wanting one of these for a while. I still would like a Star Destroyer at some point. But speaking of which, we've got kind of a Star Destroyer in the form of an Interdictor. Um, so a few uh, Star Wars Armada items, uh, just, uh, just the three, uh, which I'll be unboxing in their separate uh, videos. But the main reason you've clicked on this video is to watch me unbox and uh, take a first look at the Dankhold Trogoth. Now one of these kits will set you back £40. It's a fair amount of money. It's a medium sized model though, consisting of 55 uh, components and a 60mm base. Like I said before, you do get one of these in the Battle Force. You can either build him as a Dankhold Trogoth or a Dankhold uh, Trog Boss. Uh, I must say that the Trog Boss is the most interesting out of the two, in my, my opinion. Um, he's got he's gripping hold of this uh, centipede that he's, he's actually squished it because there's some goop coming out of there. He's eyeing up this uh, spider as a delicious um, dessert, I guess. Uh, but there are enough differences between both of them for me to warrant um, picking up both of them. Like rules wise, there's not a huge amount of difference. One has command um, points and um, the other one doesn't. And uh, there's a little bit of difference in bravery and stuff. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this Trogoth uh, has a load of mushrooms and things and this big uh, like war hammer with mushrooms and a different kind of uh, item there on the chest. Whereas uh, the Trog boss has the centipede, has the spider, has like a boulder club um, and has some stalagmites. Um, uh, on, on its shoulder and a different head and a different necklace thing. So there's enough differences for me to um, give you, well, an unboxing and review of this one and a separate review of, uh, you know, the, the Trog Boss. So let's rip and tear. And I'm thinking this is probably a couple of sprues minimum. Yep, there we are. So this is the instruction guide that you get, first of all. Let's have a little look at this. So you've got either the uh, Dankhold Trogoth or the Dankhold Trogboss. Um, this is saying copyright 2019. They did come out in 2019, so it's still a very, very uh, new kit. Um, this is for all variants. So you can see that part of the body, one of the arms and uh, the, the legs are gonna be in exactly the same pose. So that's the, the same for both of them. However, this is where it gets a bit interesting. So the Trogoth, you've got this different mushroom um, shoulder, uh, head, neck piece. You've got a different arm. You've got um, actually a couple of faces that you can use there, it, uh, it seems, um, with a couple of uh, different ears. Clearly I'm gonna use one with a, with a mushroom on it. Um, 
and then yeah you've got these additional mushrooms and uh, items that you can put on the base really cool uh, then you've got the war hammer which you can choose as, a, as an actual hammer or uh, more of a uh, a pick with a pointed edge that's really cool There's a lot of options there um, and then this is for the trog boss so you've got the stalag uh, mites there and you've got the centipede uh, it looks like you've only got one one face for, for this one um, but you've got a different but you've got a, another load of options of uh, having the um, Stalid mites on the base, which I think I'll go for rather than the mushrooms for this one and um, more of like a, a cave troll uh, It's just woken up and you know come out of the, the cave and uh, You know grab some some lunch. Um, I will be putting the spider on there Undoubtedly, I'm not just gonna have him holding the, the club up It's gonna look a bit strange if you if you just uh, kept it without the spider and um, because it gives us focal focal point of what the the trogoth's looking at then you've got the rules uh, for the dank hole trogoth and the dank hole trog boss Really excellent Games Workshop. Love it when you include both of the rules for both of the different um, uh, units, uh, for both of the different um, units in this kit. Uh, fantastic way to go. So that's the instruction guide, really nice. Um, then you've got the 60 mil base and you've got the uh, couple of sprues. So this sprue right here, um, we have uh, the big mallet hammer thing, we've got the uh, boulder club, you've got the centipede, um, loads of detail on that centipede, really, really happy with that. I like the armor plates and the armor plates are, are also rimmed with detail on the rim. Uh, you've got the face, again, a load of detail, pitted skin on the nose and the cheeks, a bit of scarring, a bit of aging, weathering, and you've got a random stalag mic there and the stalag mic yes it does have a face it's really quite amazing how you know the the stalag mites and the the mushrooms and things have their own personalities in this um you've got the arms with some mollusks and some mushrooms on pitted weird aged you name it uh, it's all there on the detail fantastic uh and then you've got um you know the nose of the face bit of the boulder mushroom cap um more mushrooms and pitted skin uh on the arms more arms i i guess uh and then more arms i think and then you've got um some extra mushrooms and things that you can put on the base really nice sprue that very solid uh, and then you've got this sprue here which contains the the main body of the trogoth and the belly and the loincloth uh, you've got another face there you've got this um container that uh, puts around its uh, neck you've got part of the base where it's actually stood on what looks like a, a goat um skull uh, you've got some more mushrooms and th i guess that goes on the, the top of the trog trogoth uh, you've got the spider that's really cool uh, no doubt you could probably attach a couple more spiders on the um club uh, from the uh, Arachnorock um, kit. You get a fair few spare ones with that. Um, and then you've got the double-handed uh, staff and they could have just left it as wood, but they've put a fair bit of detail and some mushrooms growing on it on top of that. Uh, then you've got the other uh, necklace. Uh, you've got some mushrooms in and about, some with faces, um, so that's a nice little touch. You've got the stalag uh, mites there with some mushrooms still, but a skull. Um, then the stalagmite has kind of grown through the skull or maybe the skull's gone on top of the stalagmite um, and then another one with a strange face um, bits and bobs uh, hands the feet um, there's another foot there I like the detail there with the um, little uh, corns or growths on the on the feet it's got four toes there with the toenail a little bit of a chip in the toenail um, fantastic I mean I don't see how they could do a better you know a better job than what they've done with these two sprues and um, I guess they go into machine and it just creates one and then they just break that off and put it in a kit um but yeah i can't see how they can improve this kit at all the price point is quite decent as well uh, i have to say 40 pounds is not too bad for a, a model of this size with a dual dual purpose kit yeah you can't magnetize it um to have the the different option but hey if you were playing uh, against me and you only had the the trogoth I'd have no qualms in you calling it a trog boss or vice versa. No qualms whatsoever. But anyway, 60 mil base. Um, it's going to be a, a medium sized model. Can't wait to add him to, to the uh, rock gut uh, trogoths and uh, obviously the, the trogoth hag. Um, 
but yeah, I'm really impressed with this kit. It's quite re but yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I can't wait to, to build it and um, get a review out to you and uh, draw some size comparisons. Um, but what do you guys think of this Dankhole Trogoth or Trogboss? Um, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Loon Boss Protects.